In this video, we're going to take a look at programming assignment one, creating the structure of a class. This is honestly a straightforward assignment. Really what we're doing here, we want to make sure that NetBeans is set up, we want to make sure we can compile, and we want to make sure that we understand syntax errors and how to fix them. I have a separate video where I'm going to go over a lot of common syntax errors. So we just want to make sure that we have the mechanics right. I put step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete the first part of this assignment, uh, which is the uh, calculator runner piece. And then the next, the second program, I don't have step-by-step -step instructions, but it's so close to the first part of the assignment. As long as you do the first part, the second part will make a whole lot of sense. In this video, I'm going to do the first part with you. Uh, one important note, scroll down here and you'll see a grading checklist. I want to mention this up front because this is very important. Uh, what I want you to do is submit this grading checklist with your assignment, and I want you to grade yourself. If you have accomplished everything uh, on, each, on one of these bullet points, give yourself a 10. In other words, if all classes compile, give yourself a 10. If you're not sure or you think you might have partially completed it but not fully, give yourself something that's bigger than 6 but less than 10, bigger than 5, less than 10, something in that range that represents how much you did complete. If you didn't even try something, go ahead and give yourself 5 points out of 10. And if you do, I'll go ahead and give you the five points, and I won't grade that part. Uh, now, the caveat is, be honest. Honesty pays. If you did not do something and you assign yourself 10 points out of 10, I will take that down to a zero. So it's in your best interest, if you didn't do something, to go ahead and give yourself five out of 10, because then you get five. If, you, if you're dishonest and you say you did it, you say you give yourself 10, you know, then, then you, you'll end up with zero. But if you're honest and you save me time in grading it and you say five, okay, I won't look at it. I'll just go ahead and assign the five. It's very important that you, that you turn this in. If you don't turn it in, I will assume that you gave yourself 10 on each of these items. And if I find you didn't do something, then it's automatically a zero. So turning in the grade sheet ensures you will get the most partial credit possible because you have that opportunity to say, I didn't do it, I want to take the default five points. Now, after I've graded something, after you submitted it, you can, no longer, you can no longer turn in a grade sheet. So make sure you submit it when you submit your project. And the reason is, honestly, I want to get grades back to you as soon as possible. And if you help me to grade your project by telling me what you did and didn't do, that saves me time. But if you don't submit a grade sheet, then I have to grade everything by hand and at that point, you know, the deal kind of doesn't work anymore because I've already spent that time to grade your project. So uh, I can't take a grade sheet after the fact, after I've assigned a grade. So don't forget to turn that in, submit that with your project. Okay, let's take a look. So uh, the first program, create a Java main class called Calculator Runner, uh, find the public static void main method, insert a line to print the phrase in Calculator Main to standard output, add a method called Prompt User. Okay, how do we do it? Start NetBeans, File New Project, General Java Application, and then Next. So I'll go ahead and go in here, File New Project, uh, Java, Java Application, and Next. That's fine. Okay, now what do we do here? Uh, the name and location dialog appears. That's it, name and location. Okay. Name the project calculator without the quotes. In the project location folder, choose the directory on your computer where you would like to save your project. Okay, so calculator. I'll go ahead and leave this at the default. C users, Jones B, documents, NetBeans projects. If you want to choose a different location, that's fine. One footnote, though, uh, remember this project location because this is what you're going to want to zip up and submit to me when you submit your project to be graded. So a lot of times, People will work on a project and say, well, I don't know where it is. Well, this is where it is. It's a, in my case, C users, Jones B documents, and then NetBeans project. Just make note of that. Might even be worthwhile to copy this, paste it into Notepad so you don't forget. Okay. Under the create main class, leave the checkbox checked and change the name after calculator period to calculator runner. Okay. So we see calculator period, and it's given us this word calculator. Let's just make it calculator runner. It would feel kind of redundant to have a package name, which is this, and a class name, which is this, to be the same. So let's make them a little bit different. Package names are always all lowercase. 
Class names are always Pascal case, which is where we uppercase the first letter of each word and then take out any spaces in between. So you see what we have right here is properly capitalized. Make sure that yours is the same. It is a point deduction if you maybe make the class name all lowercase and you make the package name uppercase. You shouldn't do that. Package name all lowercase, class name, Pascal case. So we fix that. Okay, what next? So back to the assignment. Um, add one method, public static void prompt user. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose finish here. And we'll give it just a moment to uh, come up. And okay, and now we have the start of our class. Add one method, public static void prompt user. Okay, public static void prompt user. That's a method signature. No parameters required, so simple open paren, close paren, uh, open curly, and then close curly gives us the boundary of that method. Be very careful. In the common issues video, I talk about where a method belongs. A method must go within the boundary of the class. And the boundary of the class begins with the open curly that, fo that follows the public class declaration all the way down to its match and close curly. So a method has to go within this boundary where I have an open and close curly highlighted in yellow. A method cannot be nested within another method. It can be a sibling, though. So in other words, I can't take this method and put it up inside of this method within its open and close curly. It has to be kind of at that parallel level, at that sibling level, one indentation in. Be careful with that, because I occasionally see people do this. That will not work. We have a method within a method, and that will not work. Uh, we want it to look like this. Okay. Uh, choose finish. The syntax, actually the choose finish, I sh uh, that should actually be up here. Uh, the syntax for printing the standard output is system out print line. Okay, what do we want to print? Insert a line to print out the phrase in calculator main to standard output. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the main method and I'm going to say SOUT tab, which gives me system out print line. If you prefer, you can type that out by hand, but SOUT tab gets the capitalization right, all the syntax right, saves you a lot of time. And so here I can say in calculator main. Looks like I misspelled it just slightly, but nonetheless. Okay, that takes care of our first class, so I'm going to go ahead and choose save. Next one, create a Java class called loan calculator. Add one method, public void calculate. Add three instance fields, which we also call attributes, balance rate and periods. Choose the most appropriate data type. Uh, balance, since we're going to have possibly a fraction of a dollar, which would be a cents value, that should be a double. Uh, rate, that could be fractional as well. I'd make that a double. Periods, generally periods we tend to think of in whole numbers. I would think of that as an int. Add getter and setter methods. Okay, how do we do this? Right-click on the package name calculator on the left side of the NetBeans screen. Okay, so right-click. Okay, uh, choose new Java class. Okay, right-click new Java class. There we go, just like so. Okay, uh, enter the name loan calculator. Calculator, there we go. Okay, and let's just make, yeah, that's good. Uh, choose finish. And we choose finish. And we have a new class. Okay, add the methods within the class block between the very first open curly and the very last close curly, but not within another method block. Uh, be careful to match the open and curly braces. That's always important. Add the instance fields and attributes within the class block, but not within a method block. Okay, so we need a method called calculate, public void calculate. So within load count, loan calculator, public void calculate calculate sorry it's late and I'm calculate and I'm having trouble spelling open curly and close curly uh, we typically will add some Java doc as well so we might say calculate the interest earned on a loan okay um, and then we need to add some attributes. Now, attributes tend to go within the class itself, which is the boundary of this open curly and close curly. Uh, but things that we call attributes or fields do not tend to go inside of methods. 
We can put variables inside of methods, but those would be local variables. An attribute or a field is also a variable, but it has what we're going to call scope within the entire class itself, not just within a method. Uh, that might not make sense just yet, but trust me on this. When I say attribute or field, we want it to go up here within the class itself, but not within a method. So I might say, let's see, what do we call it? We said, I think we said rate periods and, um, sorry, just a moment. Rate, uh, balance, rate, and periods. Okay, so I'm going to say double balance, double rate. Uh, int periods. Looks good to me. And terminate with a semicolon. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to say refactor and I'm going to say encapsulate fields and I'm just going to select all and I'm going to choose refactor. And this is going to automatically create those getters and setters. It's always a good idea to enhance our Java doc a little bit so we might say uh, this this uh, DTO, or we could call it a Java Bean or a POJO, whatever you want to call it, any of those are fine. Data transfer object, Java Bean, plain old Java object, represents a bank account. Something to that nature. Uh, probably want to do something similar in Calculator Runner. We'll say this, this class prompts user for input interactively. Uh, that's fine for now. Now, one thing I'll tell you. At this point, part one of the assignment is done. You don't have to put anything in the calculate method. We will do that in assignment two. But if you're saying, oh, wait, what do I do? How do I compute balance rate and periods? Do I need to prompt the user over here? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We just want to make sure that you're comfortable with NetBeans, with the concept of a method versus a method call, with attributes, and how to use that refactor tool uh, to create getters and setters. That's all. We will do more later, but at, the point, at this point, we're done with a loan calculator and calculator runner. Now, we do have part two. You do have to do the Celsius and Fahrenheit, which I'll let you do on your own, but you probably have a pretty good idea based on what we've done in this video. So, I hope that helps with your assignment. I'm looking forward to grading them. Thank you.